You are now tuned into the Black Law Students Association of Canada's YouTube. All right, how are you doing today, ladies? We're good. I'm doing my comments so far. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so please tell us about your law school. What law school do you attend, and how do you like it so far? Um, okay, so we go to UBC or Allard. And I think I'm in Korea, so I'm, I'm living life, kind of. I'm in 1L, so I'm, it's been an adjustment, but I'm enjoying it in second term a lot more than in first term, where I was a little bit homesick, because I'm originally from Toronto. So. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. So why did you choose your law school, both of you? And what was your first impression when you walked through the doors? I let Abigail start. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so I would say Allard is closer to home. Um, and so that was one of the reasons I chose, but the real reason I chose Allard over maybe you, Vic, um, which is also close to home, is because Allard, um, I think, had black law students who were really, really tight. So I remember one, uh, um, he's a Balsar member, he's actually here, um, he took us out to Kerner's, which is like the, the pub, which is on campus, and it was a really nice time, and I got to spend um, a lot of time there. And the library is amazingly gorgeous. You get the view of the mountains and the view of the beach. Um, and yeah, so I was a snail, um, and I spent seven days What does a snail a mean? A <laughs> snail is a student not actually in law school. And so, if you're one of those, please do not study in no, the library. No, please do study. <laughs> it was motivating, and it got me to want to be able to move to the reserved law student spots. Wow. Um, and I love being a snail, and Allard probably has the best library. I haven't seen the others, but yeah. What about you, Dina? Um, Dinah. Dinah. Um, it's okay. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> no, keep it in. <laughs> um, uh, I, I'm originally from Toronto, and I was just, I had wonderless. I really wanted to get away from home. I went to U of T for my undergrad. Um, so I, um, I visited Vancouver and it was like sunny every day while I was there. It was beautiful. I hiked up the mountains. I saw the campus. I thought it was stunning. Um, I didn't study there as a snail though because you shouldn't do that. It's very important. <laughs> like we need our library space and we pay for it. So, oh, um, <laughs> but it was really great. Um, so that's why I chose to go to uh, UBC just because I thought it would be great to be near the outdoors and have that ability to like have a mental break when you needed it. Okay. Um... What's one tip you'd give to a prospective student interested in applying that, you know, probably made both of you successful getting in? Um, okay, so what I would say is probably cliche, um, but the one tip I would say is do something you love um, in your undergrad, mostly because it would be easier to get those grades. And secondly, I don't think you want to ever put any time or money into something you don't love. So I think my highest grades came from a time I took an African American history course and I was actually just interested in learning about African American history and learning about the history of slavery and learning about the history of black people and I got my highest grades because I stopped caring about grades in general. So do what you love and it will give you that passion and that drive to succeed and just make life a little easier. Um, yeah, I completely agree with that. Um, grades, grades are important when applying to law school, so doing something you love definitely makes it easier to, to get those grades. I also think it's really important um, that you believe in yourself. I feel like there's this illusion that um, law school is only for certain people, and it's really important to believe that there is a place for you and believe that you can do it. So even if there's certain obstacles like lower grades or you don't do well in the LSAT the first time, if you believe that you have a place there and you believe in yourself, you'll find a way to get there. Thank you so much. That's a, that's a powerful point. Um, what's one thing that no one knows or underestimates about your law school? So is there one cool thing? So the one cool thing about being in Vancouver, and I don't actually know if it's comparable to other schools, but in Vancouver, um, UBC is the only law school. So as a first year, I was really surprised to find that a lot of law firms were there like every week, um, uh, quite often. They're interested in you, they want to know you, they want to hire you. So in terms of job potential and like the recruit, you feel very confident um, going into it that you've met a lot of people and you've networked. And, and there's a community there. Um, yeah.
I would say the cool thing about UBC, and I'm not sure if it's at other law schools, um, but it's a recent in, um, it's a recent initiative is that we now have a wellness manager, and she is a counselor, and she runs wellness initiatives, and it's been really transformational, uh, at least for first year students coming in and trying to transition to a new program. Uh, just that emphasis on wellness has been really helpful. Awesome. And the final question for you two ladies. What does it mean to be a part of the Black Law Students Association? And how has it helped you um, in your journey in law school at this point, or hopefully, you know, prior to entering? For me, it's helped me step into that role of advocacy. Um, I was a pretty quiet person before law school and just went through the motions. Um, but also being one of very few law students in, in black law students in Allard, um, you're kind of thrust into this position where you have to advocate for more black law students or just advocate for issues that affect black students. And Balsa was kind of a, a, a space where I could um, air out some issues, learn how to do advocacy properly, learn how to educate, and even have space to be fully myself. And I think for prospective students, it helps demystify that myth of I'm not going to get into law school. So I actually brought one of my friends in undergrad to the Balsa Conference this year. And I think for her, it's been really transformational to get to see people who look like her, people who may have stories like hers, um, who might not have the best grades or have, have different backgrounds. Um, so I think as a prospective student, um, if you know a Balsa chapter, definitely contact them because it's, it's easy to, to think that you're not good enough to get into law school, but there's so many stories that are like here. Absolutely. Um, and I think for me too, it's just having the kitchen and um, support. Um, for me, all of the uh, Balsa, other Balsa members were in upper years, so it's been having a lot of mentors that help guide you through. They've gone through similar things. Um, law school can be a very daunting experience when you first get there, and having um, people who've been through it to support you, care about you, um, just ask, ask you how you're doing, um, and relate to some of the struggles in a, a way that maybe some other students uh, there don't, has been really um, important for me. And then the chance to, to do that for someone else. We had a really cool event. <laughs> Um, where we had a lot of undergrad people come and being able to speak to them, um, it's a really cool way to give back and make sure that like that legacy of like mentorship and support continues. Awesome, thank you, ladies. Is there any either of you available to be reached by these prospective students that may be watching these video or? Yeah, yeah, sure. How yeah, can they reach you? Uh, do you have an email? You can I shout do out? have an email, but that's <laughs> probably going to be hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> Dot at gmail.com. Okay. So try and find me if you can spell my last name Y W A Y A. Um, or just Google me. Google okay, and Google and me. you know, All right, sure. <laughs> find me. She's I'm important. I'm You're the yeah, only girl. person who comes up if you Google my name, oh, Abigail. Okay. So you'll find me. Right. Um, you can reach me at dinah.holiday at gmail.com. That's holiday with two L's and Dinah, D-I-N-A-H dot holiday, H-O-L-L-I-D-A-Y at uh, gmail.com. Or you can find me on Facebook at Dinah Patricia. I use my middle name. But. All right, awesome. Thank you ladies so much. And thank you for being a great supporter of Balsa. Yes. Thank Yay. you.